Welcome back to Agrin Infotech. In today's video tutorial, we will be diving into the topic of understanding structural equation modeling in R. Structural equation modeling is a powerful statistical analysis technique that allows us to explore complex relationships between variables. By using our programming language, we can implement SEM and gain valuable insights from our data. So let's get started. Before we begin our analysis, it's important to clear the R environment to ensure that there are no conflicts or data contamination. By following this best practice, we can maintain the integrity of our analysis. Let's take a look at the following R code snippet that accomplishes this task. Now that we have a clean environment, the next step is to import our data into R. In this tutorial, our data is stored in an Excel file named data underscore path dot xlsx. We will be using the readxl package to import the data and convert some variables into factors for our convenience. Great! We have successfully imported our data. Now, let's move on to the most exciting part, performing structural equation modeling using R. The first step in SEM is to specify the model. In our case, we will be using the Levon package to write the model syntax. Our model consists of two latent variables, enzyme activity and yield contributing factors, and one observed variable, grain yield. The indicators of the latent variables are defined using the equal and tilde operator, while the observed variable is regressed on the latent variables using the tilde operator. Here's an example of how we can specify the model in R. After specifying the model, we can proceed with estimating the parameters and identifying the model's fit. For this purpose, we will be using the Levon package. The following code snippet performs model estimation and provides a summary of the estimated model, including coefficients, standard errors, p-values, and fit indices. In addition to the basic fit measures, we can obtain more comprehensive fit indices by modifying our code snippet. These additional fit measures, such as the comparative fit index, CFI, and root mean square error of approximation, RMSEA, provide us with a deeper understanding of how well our model fits the data. Now that we have estimated the model and obtained the fit measures, it's time to interpret the results. In our model test, we compare the user model's chi-square test statistic with the baseline model's chi-square test statistic. The p-values associated with these test statistics help us determine whether our user model provides a better fit to the data. We also examine various fit indices such as the Comparative Fit Index, CFI, and Tucker-Lewis Index, TLI. These indices give us an idea of how well our model fits the data. Additionally, we consider log likelihood and information criteria such as Akaika Information Criterion, AIC, Bayesian Information Criterion, BIC, and Sample Size Adjusted Bayesian Information Criterion, SABIC, to assess the model's fit. Furthermore, we analyze the root mean square error of approximation, RMSEA, and the standardized root mean square residual, SRMR, to evaluate the goodness of fit of our model. These measures provide insights into the discrepancy between our model and the observed data. Lastly, we examine the parameter estimates, which reveal the relationships between latent and observed variables. The regression coefficients and their corresponding p-values help us assess the significance of these relationships. By interpreting these results, we can gain a comprehensive understanding of how our model fits the data and the relationships between variables. Now that we have analyzed the results, it's time to visualize our model using a path diagram. A path diagram provides a graphical representation of the structural relationships in our SEM model. We can use the SEM plot package to create the path diagram with different customization options. With the path diagram, we can easily visualize the causal relationships between variables, represented by single-headed arrows. Double-headed arrows indicate covariance between variables, and they help us understand how variables share common underlying factors or are directly related to each other. As we can see, the path diagram provides a visual representation of the structural relationships, including causality, covariance, and variances, between the observed and latent variables in our SEM model. To summarize, in this tutorial, we have explored the concept of structural equation modeling and implemented it in R. 
we cleared our, our environment, imported our data, specified the model, estimated parameters, interpreted the results, and visualized the model using a path diagram. By leveraging SEMNR, researchers can gain deeper insights into complex relationships and make informed decisions based on their findings. Thank you for watching this tutorial on understanding structural equation modeling in R. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more tutorials and happy analyzing!